Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm David Caparino. If you haven't taken the time yet to subscribe or you haven't seen me before in all my other Air Force videos, go ahead and subscribe now. This video is going to be a little bit different, however. Today is Saturday and I typically do an MRE review because I have to get through all of these. This is the spaghetti in beef sauce. Spaghetti with beef and sauce. It's about 11 o'clock and I think it's a perfect time to have some spaghetti. So let's go ahead and get into the MRE review of menu item four. So this one you notice I already opened up. That's only because someday I was actually really hungry and the dining facility was closed and I was too cheap to go out and get food. So I was just ripping this one open and I found they had some bread in there. Uh, it was like Italian bread something and it just it was horrible i'll just be honest with you it had this fennel in there that was like the bread tasted not as soft as like the other breads you get and i've never had the italian bread before with fennel but i don't enjoy fennel so to me i didn't enjoy it so just keep that in mind while i do this one pro tip use this empty bag now with all the contents i just pulled out use that as your trash bag so again this is an accessory pack and uh, i opened this one up so I forgot what I wanted in here, but I just opened it up and I took something out, but not all of them are the same. You would think they are. Some of them have matches, some of them don't. Like, there's no reason for me to take matches out of here, but this one didn't come with matches. So this one has iodized salt, which I don't need, a moist towelette. Uh, this is Lighthouse. I don't know what the purpose of stamping it is, but this is basically tissue. Uh, it's just like super compacted uh, tissue, like, you know, cleaning your hands. And this one, this one actually looked pretty decent. What is this? Beverage beverage based raspberry sugar free all right here we go so this is the spaghetti with beef and sauce you can see it'll be stamped on the package here's the notches on the side so you can you can need this depending on uh, whichever meal you get but sometimes I need it sometimes I don't sometimes I'll wait after it's heated up because then everything's a little bit more uh, easy to push around if you will you can see the notches on top there so I'm just gonna go ahead and give that push on the side so when I open it nothing of that stuff flies out uh, this is the cardboard piece that with a cedar element there's two notches on here you rip off the top one and you put the MRE in and then you add your water it's not recommended to go over the do not fill however I do because I'm careful when I do this so I'm not spilling like super hot water everywhere and uh, the water when it heats up it's going to cover all of this MRE because if you put this in here like like so, and you only fill it up to here with the contents of the package in there, the water's only gonna rise to that. And then it's like more of the food you have to push around to heat it all up. So I like to fill up the bag, personally, that's just me. But if you're in basic training, boot camp, or like any sort of tech school, uh, I don't recommend it because your MCI or drill sergeant or whatever, they could get pissed at you if they see you just filling this thing up and then, you know, they're going to be like, why can't you follow directions? Uh, this is just a nice little cardboard piece that whenever you uh, put the meal in the heater element, you slip this through and then you take that extra flap and you tuck it in so that way all the components are nice and tight in there. Spoon. Multigrain snack bread. Maybe I didn't get it from this one because this is what it was. This was like Italian snack bread or something. So, I mean, it's not bad. Raisins. I don't know if you haven't seen my other video, go ahead and check that one out. But I talked about the raisins, how these, I don't enjoy these MRE raisins because they're like really oily. I mean, they taste fine. It's just a weird film. And I feel like if you're going to be eating raisins with like a oily film on it, and if you're in the field and if you have to do whatever it is you're doing, I don't want that extra film on my fingers that I could potentially like slip up and, and mess something up. So I, I'll try these just for the sake of the video, but uh, I typically would just throw these out. I'm, I'm okay with missing out on these calories. This has 35 carbohydrates, 22 grams of sugar, one, pro, one gram of protein, uh, about 140 calories. For me personally, I wouldn't be so upset if I lost all these. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, you always want to make sure you need because there will be like this empty pocket in there and it's it'll feel kind of watery because of like the oil separating. But here we go, we got peanut butter. They do have, if you get lucky enough, they do have crunchy peanut butter. Oh, this is new. I haven't had this in a hot minute. Toaster pastry frosted brown sugar. What do you think this thing is? We'll get to that later. Here's a cocoa beverage powder. And this right here, we have grape jelly, which I'm presuming you can use with the bread. But I normally use the peanut butter. It, it really depends on what I'm feeling. I could use a jelly on the bread because it comes in four cuts, which you'll see. So I'll even I'll even do both because I have grape jelly and peanut butter. I could just make like a peanut butter and jelly breadstick and, and do that. So there's a bunch of different uh, things you could do so long as you're creative enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up, do a quick time lapse. I'm going to set this outside my window. I opened it up so these fumes, don't breathe these fumes. They are poisonous. I don't know what kind of reaction comes out of this heater element here also if you were to throw this out don't seal it because if you seal it this is still i don't know what the word is but it's letting off 
steam or gas, whatever, and it'll explode the package if it's tightly sealed. Uh, this also gets extremely hot, so be careful of that. Uh, it's water activated, so as soon as water touches this, the chemicals, whatever it is in here, starts activating, and it'll start smoking, and it smells really bad. I'm just going to do this real quick, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Some of these are harder than others. Now, typically with an MRE, they're all kind of reliant on everything in the MRE. And what I mean by that is everything you need will be in the MRE bag. So you notice I just grabbed a gallon of water here to start this. If you're wondering like, well, if it doesn't come with water, how am I supposed to start it? So this goes off the idea that if you're in the field, you ideally have a canteen of water. So that's what you would typically use if you happen to see my video or whatever and you didn't know that. Just some GWIZ information. Now again, remember, I overfilled on purpose so that when this water heats up, it is heating the whole thing semi-evenly. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but this thing is starting to heat up, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick before it starts smoking too much. And I'm going to set this outside, and then we're going to start on some of the other snacks. So we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. In my last video, when I waited 15 minutes, the contents were really hot, and I had two items that I put in there. One was like the main entree and a side, uh, and those two, those were like exceptionally hot. So we'll wait about 10 minutes. I actually just realized I went to uh, go look for my watch, and I took it off, and I worked out last night, and I never put it back on. So. Uh, I got my spoon and put that off to the side and we're gonna try some of these awesome snacks here I really can't wait till I move out of the dorms and I have more room to move around I swear my videos are gonna be way better and I'm gonna be more rowdy because I have to be quiet because I have sweet mates and just out of respect for them I try and lower my voice so I'll probably be totally different once I get my own place and I don't have neighbors at least or immediate neighbors or sweet mates so first we have the toaster pastry cinnamon oh it doesn't even say cinnamon it just says frosted brown sugar so if you haven't figured out what this is by now, this is more or less a Pop-Tart. Now they don't say this is a Pop-Tart, brown sugar, whatever it is. But you will see here, there's only one, unfortunately. I know normally the other packs come with two. It looks like a normal Pop-Tart. I haven't bought the brown sugar Pop-Tarts in a while, so I don't know if like this coloring is the same. But if the camera is going to pick that up, Maybe, maybe not. I'm still trying to figure out how to work this camera. But there is the filling. So this tastes exactly how you would imagine. Yeah, so I'm just going to make a cutscene. I'm going to finish this whole thing. I'm not going to have you guys watch me eat a whole Pop-Tart. So that toaster pastry, huge thumbs up. Really good stuff. Next, I'm going to move on to the cocoa beverage powder. So the actual directions say to allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to powder. I'll be honest, I don't know what that means. And the fact that it says chemically purified to stand for 30, whatever, just kind of scares me. So I don't mind that my drink is going to be cold or at least room temperature. So the cocoa beverage powder, all you got to do is open it up at the top here. There's a little uh, notch there that you pull it at. It's a, there's a zipper or whatever you want to call it, at the top. I don't think you're going to be able to see in there. But it's just, it looks like brown powder. So I'm just kind of guesstimating on how much. It looks like the water's up to about here. And I'm guessing since, well, it gives you a measurement. It says add six ounces of hot or cold water or a quarter of canteen cup. So I'm guessing that's what this line is here. That's where you're supposed to fill it. These drinks like this, like this has 20 grams of sugar. If you're new to my channel and you don't know me, the things I comment on is like these drinks. I don't eat really sugary stuff. Like that Pop-Tart was probably the most sweetness I can go up to. But this right here, like I want my water higher because that, that sweet taste will be less for me because I tend to be kind of sensitive when it comes to sugary things. So it looks like the water is up to about here or so. So I'm just gonna zipper this back up, give it a couple shakes. So we're gonna try the cocoa beverage powder. I'm guessing this is supposed to be, I wanna say chocolate milk, cause it says sugar, corn syrup, salads, partially hydrogenated soybean oil, whey milk, cocoa powder. Uh, it goes down to another slew of things I have no idea how to pronounce. Okay, well that's sitting there doing its thing. Let's check out these raisins. 
So it smells like a normal bag of raisins. But, see, I don't know, it's probably just me. Is the camera going to focus? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I have a decent camera, but I don't think it's the best top of the line. See, I'm also, I've never been in big into raisins, so like, I don't know if you can see the glistening on my hand. I can, but that's only because I'm looking for it. So, look, the raisins, they're not bad. They taste like raisins, but I don't like the feel I get from it. Like, if I was really hungry and I was like, screw it, I'm eating the raisins, I'd probably just pour them into my mouth out of here. But otherwise, I wouldn't sit there and eat these like this, because they're really oily. I don't know, actually. I mean, I expect there to be some juices that come out of it, but other packages or boxes of raisins I've eaten, they were never this oily. This is up to your discretion. This is just my review of this MRE, but I'm gonna throw these out. But they're not bad. And now I'm gonna go wash my hands. So now we're gonna get into the peanut butter, the grape jelly, and the multigrain snack bread. So typically they have an arrow on where you're supposed to tear it. It's right on the top here. So they want you to tear it along this thing, giving you that big opening, I'm guessing. Same thing with the jelly. Now, uh, for me, just to not create a mess on my bed, because it's the only other flat surface I have here, I'm actually going to cut a corner there so I can accurately pinpoint my application of the jelly and the peanut butter. So here's the wheat snack bread. This is actually really good. I don't mind this at all. Uh, these dotted lines here, that's where I break it off and I make little pieces like this. So here we go, put some peanut butter and jelly on there, I'm trying not to drop it. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of jelly, I would eat it, and it's not bad because it's grape jelly. I don't enjoy any other kind of jelly or jams if I were to have a choice, besides blueberry. I'll eat blueberry anything and everything. So it's peanut butter, huge fan of peanut butter too. I'm just, it's really hard to kind of get this at the angle I'd like so everyone could see it. That didn't look like a good angle. Here's the last of that bread. I'm just going to finish off with the peanut butter. So I'm going to have this. And if you remember, the other thing we had was this beverage base raspberry. So I don't have anything to put it in. Normally there's like a plastic bag in there. And again, I don't remember what I took out from this thing, but this is what it should look like. So if yours doesn't have it, I don't recommend putting this in your canteen because you, for later on, if whatever you're doing out in the field, you should so much rather have water than a beverage base powder or any kind of juice or anything. So you'll notice, maybe you won't, but the 12 fluid ounce line, fill line, is right there. So I went way over, again, if you remember what I just said, I don't like the too sugary, too flavorful juices. I actually don't drink anything besides milk, water, beer, and coffee. That's all I drink in my life ever. But just for the sake of this video, I want to taste everything so you guys have an accurate idea of what to expect. Uh, be careful of this. This bag doesn't seem to always trap everything in there. So let's taste this real quick. Pro tip, this obviously isn't that sturdy. So take this, pinch it in half, pinch it in half again, and you're gonna focus all of that liquid to come out at the tip here. So it's not horrible, it has that kind of raspberry diet vitamin taste almost. It is sugar free, so maybe that's why. You could totally drink this if you're in the field. However, I wouldn't put this in your canteen. I'm gonna throw this out only because I don't enjoy it. So yeah, I totally forgot about the main package and now this is really hot. This was over 15 minutes, uh, but that's what I was showing you earlier and you can see that package was pretty bloated because of how much steam that thing was putting off. And I just threw it away in my trash bag, but I'm not gonna leave it in my room. I don't trust it, but it was still steaming after I poured out all the water. So that means that heater element still had some life to it. After you take it away from the water and whatnot, uh, don't eat it. It should be still active for about 15 minutes or so before that kind of filters out itself and those chemicals, whatever it is in there, is done. So all I'm doing is I'm just pushing around the heated stuff, just making sure it's nice and even, so whenever I eat it, I'm not getting like a cold meatball and like a hot noodle or something. So if you remember, while this thing's cooling off, because this is pretty hot, uh, we had that cocoa beverage powder, whatever it was. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, grab that real quick, and let's try that out. The only easy way to have something like this, the package is already kind of contoured in your favor. So I just make sure I use two hands, hold it, and just try and focus all the liquid out of a, a, the bottom spout here. Okay. Yeah, so all that was was basically chocolate milk, but just with a water base. 
So you notice if you ever have an instant anything and you use water as the base, it has a little bit thinner consistency. And that's what I'm getting with this. If I were to use like milk, like for whatever reason I had milk on me, and I put it in there and shake it, I bet you'd have a creamier kind of texture and this would taste like legit chocolate milk. So it actually wasn't bad for being a water-based chocolate milk. But this would be like if you had the Nesquik and you just take however many scoops of Nesquik is necessary, use water instead of milk, and that's probably what this would taste like. Uh, not bad, but I don't want to fill up on this because I still have, this is a pretty decent sized meal. Uh, so I'm going to put this off to the side and we're going to get to the main entree. Okay, so here we go. This is spaghetti with beef and sauce. I love how they word stuff here. It's so original. So remember we have the two notches on the top, making room for that up there. So when I open this, it's not going to spill everywhere. Let me just move my paper towels. Oh yes, I got a clean cut. I hate when it's like off-centered like that. All right. Forgot to open my spoon. This one, I'm actually excited for this. I'll eat two of these if I had two. This doesn't look horrible. Don't let the color or the texture scare you. If you watched my last one, I did like a barbecue beef or barbecue shredded beef in, in sauce or something. And uh, it did not look appealing. But this one, you know, it tries to be what the idea is. And it looks quite all right to me. So let's open up our spoon here. I eat the shit out of this. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, this is an Olive Garden Primavera or whatever, but I'll, I'll, eat, I'll eat this, no problem. So yeah, I'm actually gonna sit here and eat the rest of this. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your time and attention. If you haven't subscribed yet, I do other videos than just this. I have an influx of MREs I'm trying to burn through, so I figure every Saturday I'd do an MRE review. Oh my gosh, I actually had to stop and cut out like two minutes because I just kept eating. If you know your friends are on YouTube, they don't know about this yet, this movement I'm doing, go ahead, get them on the, the train too. We need to make sure everyone knows what's going on here, all right? I'm trying to create a movement on YouTube whole new movement get your mommy your daddy your auntie your uncle get them on youtube tell them create an account go search david caparino add me subscribe i can guarantee they're going to enjoy the content and i'm sorry i've had to cut so much of this video because i just kept eating i ate that thing clean but in any case thank you thank you for your time i truly appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video